back here across the East Bath Volunteer Fire Department is in the works of building a new station. And with this new place, they need some more people. Nine on your side's Lauren Beachy visited the department today. And Lauren, what are they saying? Chief Bosquet is saying that there's a lot of fire departments that are struggling with recruiting volunteers recently. They're looking for all types of people to do different things, not just fight fires. From truck drivers to engineers, there's so many different jobs that uh, we, we can use. I mean, I'll, a lot of people think that just fighting fire is all we do, or all if, if I can't fight fire, then there's no need for me to join, and that's just simply not true. A job that means much more. The satisfaction of helping the community and just helping people you don't even know, um, it's, it's just, it's a very, very rewarding job. More volunteers are vital as the station plans to grow. Back in May, they bought two acres of land off of Highway 264. They are now in the process of building a new station and training facilities. This new station will also help uh, a little over 300 homes save on their insurance rating for their insurance premiums uh, for the fire rating uh, that we have where they're now in an unrated district uh, they will now be covered under our um, our insurance uh, ISO rating and it's going to be helping anybody from around the Northside High School Eastern Elementary and can go all the way up to the Braddy Road and as far north um, as about about a mile from Highway 32. If you're interested in joining the station, no prior experience or education is required. The station puts you through the training at Beaufort Community College, all costs covered. To submit an application, give the fire department a call. In the newsroom, Lauren Beachy, 9